there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Deadwater Saloon, which is a new game. It's on Steam and full disclosure, I did receive my copy of the game for free and we're going to play it. Hold up. All right, so we're going to we're going to jump in here. Okay, so we get to oh, we get to Cool. So we can pick what kind of person we are. We can be male or female. Right. I like these portraits. That that guy looked cool. But his name is going to be Mr. People call him Mr. Jacobs. Yep. Actually, it's, let's give him an action. Mr. There we go. The town. Ooh, I like, I like this random generator thing. Fair Chapel, I like that. Saloon, Aces High Saloon, Firewater Saloon, The White Elephant. Yep, let's go with that. What is this? Choose between more health or more attributes. Um, let's go with more attributes, yeah. So now we get to raise our... So this is a character generator, alright. So we're making a character. That's There are a lot of stats, man. But it does tell you what they all do. That's cool. And then there's... Some traits. Ooh, what does captivating do? Drama. Use in events and townspeople interactions. Okay. Captivating, compassionate, analytical, daring. What is uh, analytical? Abstraction, finances, daring, muscle. Let's go. Let's go. Captivating. That seems good. Contributes to dual success roles. Contributes to saloon service rating. Litigiousness. <laughs> right. So there's lots of stuff going on here. All right. Well, well let's just... We've, we've taken the most amount of points that we can. Um, let's go ahead and, like, lean into leadership. Okay. So 50 is the max, I guess. All right, so 50 is the max. All right. What else do we want? What does Savoir Faire do? Contributes to befriend success roles, refinement rating. Yeah. Um, blackmail and supply purchase costs. Okay. Cooking, muscle sneakiness. You're underestimating the sneakiness. Abstraction. Research time. Let's go with abstraction. Let's get some abstraction going. Let's get some. Uh, I don't know. Let's get some gambling going. Sure. We'll go up to thirty for that. Um, what else do we want? Should we get some saloon drink rating, alcohol revenue increased with each point? We'll get a bit of that. We'll go for some. Contributes to murder success rolls. Nice. Well, we might, let's let's lean into that. There we go. There we go. And we'll put the rest into sneakiness. All right. Economy normal. Townspeople pleasant. <laughs> or, yeah, a-holes. Right. All right, let's start the game. Let's see what's going on in Deadwater Saloon. Local townspeople will enter your business based on your saloon rating and their opinion of you. Travelers will be influenced by your saloon rating. All right, so I guess we're going to be running a saloon. Um, and, and I'll fast forward till it loads. All right, so a new beginning. You are dropped off by a wagon in front of a large red building in the middle of nowhere. Walking inside... You breathe in the musty smell and wonder who is more insane, the man who put up such a large structure in the middle of nowhere, or the one who will manage it. There are a few good things going for the place, however, a well-packed road passes right outside your building, and there are rumors that a railroad track will be coming soon as well. There's even a well with fresh water just a few paces away. Perhaps this could be a, the spot of a booming town one day, with a bustling main street and train station bringing in supplies and travelers. And maybe, just maybe, you and your saloon will survive long enough to see it happen. Welcome to the tutorial. 
here will be a brief introduction to the game and its mechanics. Note that when the tutorial is finished, there will be additional pop-ups that will occasionally come up. Cool. First, you can always move the camera with last. Okay. Got it. Finally, rotate. Yeah, so we can... Oh, cool. All right. You'll find your personal stats. Okay. And town opinion. All are very important things to consider. Uh, your health and your stress, as both will lead to death if they get too low. Alright. Above you will find your saloon stats, your total cash, daily profit, loss, saloon capacity. Right. Um, manage your cash carefully, especially early on until you start getting enough customers to sustain your operation. To the side, you will find your booze and food. Right. Purchase and crates 200 from local businesses they are built in your town. You will need to wait a few hours for a trapper to come through your town before purchasing any booze or food, though. Here are your saloon ratings. Your overall saloon rating is scored by following subjects in fame, refinement, entertainment, service, drinks, food, and muscle. Your overall saloon rating helps determine the chances of a customer deciding to frequent a saloon or not. Right. Okay. Yep. This is your build panel. Here you can see your view toggle, your floor toggle button, and your build button. Edit button, erase button, and customer access button. All right. Cool, so now we can see the interior of our saloon. All right, so we get to like build the saloon. That's cool. Build button. Ooh, you can see items available to build. We suggest building a barrel or trunk to increase storage. Uh, barrel or trunk. Let's go with a Let's go with a trunk, I guess. Now place an item, an item must be on the floor, not intersecting with a wall. All right. Okay. Also, know for next time that you can also rotate items while you're placing them using Z and C. All right. Giving you tips and advice as you open new screens or situations develop with your character or the town. But you are now free to explore Deadwater Saloon and build the best damn saloon in the Wild West. Okay, so so we can pause it so that we can um, do stuff. So we've got $773 to build. Right. What, what was this? Edit mode. Delete item. Build item. Right. All right, so we need a bar, I guess. So, we can build a little tiny bar. It did say to be very careful with your stuff, so we'll probably try and be careful with that. Um, utility, structure. Oh, so we can, we can expand the structure. There's entertainment, there's decor, there's furniture, there's lighting. All right, let's go for utility. Let's go middle ground here and build a bar. Um, so that can be the bar. Nice. All right, and then we can build some more stuff. We're just we're gonna build some stuff now. What is a back bar? Refinement. I don't. I don't know. Saloon drink rating bonus does not plus twenty saloon drink rating. I don't, I don't know what a back bar is. Can we... Oh, it goes behind the bar, right? Okay. So, we'll put it there, but let's move some stuff, I guess? Because I want this... Uh, this trunk doesn't need to be out here. It can be somewhere else. That's actually pretty cool. That's, that's not bad. Right, so the music's gone. I don't know why the music's gone. Um, uh, let's see, options, music. I wanted, yeah, I wanted more music, I guess. Be good if there was more music. But I've turned it up so that we can hear it better. Um, anyways, let's keep building our little place. What else have we got? There's a safe, there's a cutting table, sacks, a kitchen shelf. Yeah, um, we do want to have a gambling table, of course. We'll have that in the, in the corner over here. 
I really, I really do like, uh, this is cool, man. I'm, I'm, I'm actually loving this so far. Put a piano. Mm. Over by the, over by the wall. There we go. How much money have we got now? So we, we are spending money here. We are gonna have to, we're gonna have to buy some other stuff as well, but for now, we're doing okay. Um, spittoon. Uh, no. We're going for, we're going for refined things, so let's go. We'll have a, we'll have a couple of tables and chairs. Yeah, um, what else do we want? Are there bar stools? Yeah, there are. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's intersecting. Right. Okay. So we can move that. We can move that so that we can put those bar stools in. There we go. So now we've got some stools for the bar. Alright. What else do we need to do? Um, staff. So we need to hire some staff. No local... You can also import staff from the left-hand tab. Okay. There we go. So we just need a barkeep. I guess we're going to import her. Yep. Hello. All right. Um All right, let's let let's let the game roll. So what is this? Saloon profit or loss for the day. Oh, that's yeah, each day. A shanty has been constructed right out alongside your saloon. It would seem a roughly clothed trapper, a true Western Pathfinder, has moved into the city to provide their goods. Um. Okay. So how do I how do I do that? Um. I don't know how to I don't know how to do this stuff. Is this them? Where where are they? Oop. All right. Or is this them here? All right, so let's buy some liquor. And we'll buy some of that. We'll restock it when low. There we go. All right, so now we can... A new recipe. How do we research? Booze. Uh, or food. Okay. I don't, I don't know. So we can research one thing at a time, I guess? We're, we're learning about stuff. What are we missing to serve food? A cook. We need a stove. Right. Alright, let's build a stove, I guess. Because that's what it says I need to do. What does this do? Plus 40 saloon food running. I can just go here for now. There we go. So now we've got a stove. We need to cook though. We, we don't have any customers. There are no customers yet. So I think this is the intended speed. Purchase business. Oh, I can buy the business? Sure, I can sell you my bullet to you for fourteen eighty. Alright. Okay. So you can start buying up the town as well. So when do we get our people? None. Who's this? Oh, I've got no lighting. Oops. Alright, we need some lighting. We can do that. 
We can definitely do that. Uh... Get that going. And then we probably need, we probably still need more lighting than that, guys. Definitely, definitely some more lighting than that. Beautiful. And then we probably want a little bit of lighting. What does this do? Plus eight refinement. Getting quite a bit of refinement. Oh, we don't have a sign or anything, so people don't know that we're open. Why is that? Why won't that place? There we go. So now we're now we're actually reasonably well lit. Um, she doesn't probably doesn't want to be blind while she's cooking. So we'll make sure that she can see. Oh, this is very. Uh, there's like quite a bit to it, isn't there? All right, let's give it some speed. So this is my this is my worker, I guess. Let's see. Oh, we've got a cook, so we can hire this cook. We don't need to. Yeah. Oh, new recipe can be researched. Love it. All right. Let's recipe. Let's research dill pickles. So we researched rot gut, whatever that means. I still don't. I don't know what we're doing with that. No. More. Your more our current vicious customers are sure to welcome the butcher, having become uh, having come west seeking the opportunity. Yeah. All right, so there's a butcher now as well, but we have no customers. The wise man comes up the road and tells you it takes a studious mind to know how to properly serve grub and spirits to clientele. Don't be an ignorant saphead. Research your product, or you can't serve them jack shit. A business selling a new type of drink or food has been built in your town. Remember, it's not enough to just purchase stock from them. Start selling. You must also have at least one recipe researched in that particular family as well. Okay. So, this is the butcher. Alright, so we can buy stuff. Butcher's dog. Uh, sure. We, we bought we bought the dog <laughs> okay plus 10 cooking oof that's a lot of our money though is the problem um, we can't oh we don't have enough storage all right fair enough oh do we have a customer finally oh no that's our cook so our cook is doing cook things how do we Seriously, how do we, like, get customers, man? Like... Oh, there's, like, light meat and there's heavy meat. Let's go roast prairie chicken. I think this is the normal speed here. So, yeah, we really need some customers, man, because we're, uh, we're running low on, on cash. What does this mean? Town opinion. Right? Action point when interacting with purchasing goods or using coping mechanisms. Right. Okay. Character stress. Uh, character suicide chance if stress reaches 100. Wow, that's a bit dark. Oh, we've got a customer. Yay! Um, but is anybody going to serve her, I guess, is the is the question. Oops. Maybe I don't have a super, A server? Um, staff? No, I want to. I want to hire someone. No, I don't need a prostitute. I need a server. Okay. Nope. Right. I did. That's fine. I guess we don't have a server. Sorry. We probably do need. Um. 
got good lighting. We just need a little bit more um, shelf space, I think. So let's... Um, Oops. Oh my god. Alright. That's in a really weird spot. Hold on a sec. Can we move stuff? So now we can research some more. What is this? New business has been built. Let's talk. Can we talk to her? So what do we what do we do? So she's entering the saloon. Befriend initiates event. Regale initiate requires famous story. Requires action point. No famous stories. All right. So now you can talk to people. I see. All right. Opinion too low. Let's befriend. You decide to befriend Misty Donaldson. Cool. So we get a little bit of like role playing and stuff. Inspire them to embrace their natural gifts and realize their full potential. So 58%. You offer them some money to like you. Let's go with that one. Did I succeed it? Yes. We raised her opinion of me. Um, let's befriend her as well. Oh. That's... Nice, and I got some extra gambling out of that. Cool. So those, that's that's what we do with our action points. Okay. Um, our interaction is available in 11 hours. Right. Oh, and we can kick them out of the saloon and stuff, or we duel them. Okay. I'm sort of following this. There's there's a lot going on here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Oh, we got some good music going on as well. We'll just turn it down, though. I do like the music. I do like the music, but it'd be cooler if it was like that. If I could hear the piano music going on in here. Right? So they're, they're coming to sit by themselves. Um, let's befriend. Oof. Uh... Failed. Bad. Cool. Okay, so now the music's quite good. So our refinement is very high. Very cool. And we've got a dog. So we're doing well. Oh. oh. So now we can we can do more actions. Um, five hours. Uh, town. Oh. So what is this? Repair road initiates events to repair road. Okay. Citizens, here we go. Oh, so we can talk to the talk to the prostitute. There we go. We offer to treat her any health condition she might have. That's quite cool. Um So what have we got? We've got staff costs, we've got inventory costs, we've got other costs, we've got profit. We don't have a lot of profit. Oh, what are we... Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Right. So they're allowed to play piano. Prices, adjust prices of saloon offerings. 
There's a lot of deep uh, stuff going on here. Hopefully they don't leave because I closed the... They do leave because I closed the saloon. Whoops. Well, that's my bad, I guess. Um, there we go. Bring on the free drinks. Chow time. Right. Nice. So she's eating and stuff. Oh, let's talk to her. Cannot interact. Requires action point. What? Cannot interact with travelers? So she's a traveler, so we can't do any of that stuff. But we could murder her. Oh, no, we can't. So we can remove her from the saloon. I see. That's the only thing we can do. I guess that makes sense. Right. Um, citizens. Let's go, let's talk to some people. So what is this? That was town suspicion of this character. They like me 29%. Let's befriend them some more. No, it failed. Lame! So we get action points each day. That makes sense. Greta quite likes me, I guess. And what can we do? We can entice them. Service here is geared to blow their head off. Oh, yeah. Uh, she, lo she lost some opinion of me, though. Yeah, she didn't, she didn't like that I tried to do that. Uh, interaction available in six hours. Right. All right. Well, we're, we're making, we're making progress. All right. So, I guess what I pro, so my stress is going up. There's some things here. You hear talking about Vern Donaldson's cooking and how it's so hearty that they lost their drinking stamina, resulting in being less drunk. You go to Vern Donaldson and demand they make the food less hearty. Ask them to start cooking with booze mixed in to increase the effects of this liquor. Right, that's the guy. That's the guy cooking for me. Right. Oh, we can interact with him as well. Oh, right. All right, so what I want to see um, right now, I guess, is... So how do you... There we go. Okay, so... If we put in... A set of stairs. Why can't it? Why can't I build that there? I don't understand. Oh, I see. Because I'm on the wrong floor. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so there's some stairs now. And then if we go to build. How do you build walls and stuff? So we got a so we've got a um, thing there. All right. So now we've got we've got a second level. That's pretty funny. Right, how do we build a a room? I don't. Okay, so that's a room. I mean, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That that works. 
put a doorway in there. And I mean, I'm just I'm spending up big here cuz I want to see I wanted to I want to test it out. Okay. What else can we put in there? We can put a bed. Oh. Okay, it's not gonna fit. All right, so we've got to build more floor, I suppose. We can do that. Uh, and then what, do we delete? Yep, cool. Alright, so then we try and put the, the brothel bed in there. We can do we can do this. We got this. But it can just go right there. Nice. Alright, so now we've got a brothel with a window. And some stairs. The only part of our second level is a brothel. So now we need to hire a prostitute. Oh, my daily action points are exhausted. All right. We'll wait for our daily action points to be reset. Hopefully we start making some money though soon. Oh, here we go. People come in to enjoy some alcohol. Love it. Very cool. Oh. Yep. So we're researching more booze, good. And we're just waiting for action points to reset so we can get ourselves a, uh, a prostitute, and then we'll see how that goes. All right. A rancid heat wave is causing a grand disturbance at the local town people's sleep, causing many to carry out their days in a trance-like state. Uh, suggest placing dried mud between the wood planks of their homes to cool the interiors. Uh, the dried mud flakes and doesn't do anything to stop the heat from rising. What a colossal waste of time. Fair chapel opinion. Oof. They didn't like that. All right. So hold on. We'll slow it down. We need to we need to hire someone. Hire, thank you. What is this? Excellent. So so far we've got a pretty good town. No one uh, no one wants to play our piano and stuff. Um, I'm really enjoying myself. That's the important thing. You can get quite in close and. So I probably need to put some lights in the in the, the brothel room. Uh, I mean, we can definitely do that. Lighting. Let's go. With a tacky chandelier. <laughs> nice. So she's just in there chilling. So we employ three people here now. The town is doing its thing. All right. Um, my stress... Oh. What was that? Oh, that was just music. Okay. I was a little bit concerned, but that's okay. Let's... Let's talk to some people. Ooh, let's talk to the butcher. Let's try and entice her. Oh, opinion too low. What? Right, so that did not work. Did not work at all, not even a little bit.
Oh yeah, that one worked. Nice. And we're raising our stats as we go. So that's good. So people are frequenting my tavern. Good job. No one's yet uh, made use of the uh, the brothel, of course. Make sure that we use all of our action points, otherwise it's definitely wasted. Offer to treat any health conditions. Oh, it failed. Oof. Nasty. Right. Very cool. You know what I might do, though? I might fast forward um, till, like, you know, we get some more stuff going on. Okay, so I think I broke it. I was trying to conserve space, but I guess I shouldn't have been. Um, but that's okay. The game is very, very, very cool. I'm definitely going to be playing more of this. Um, managing a Wild West Saloon is amazing. I'm absolutely loving it. Let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. Um, just some things that have happened. Basically, you get daily events, and then you get to choose. Um, your stats affect the events. Um, I've made a little brothel going on here. I built a uh, roulette table and hired a croupier. I've got a server. I'm starting to get a little bit more going. It's very cool. Let's go look at the description. Oh, here's the um, traveler steps up to the bar and says, I'm looking for something to give me the desire to save my own drowning mother-in-law. Attempt to mix. And we did it. You mix him a drink and he slugs it back. Whoa, you ain't getting run. That'll draw a blood blister on a rawhide boot. Made 20 bucks. That's good. Because I do need some money. Um, but yeah, let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. All right, Deadwater Saloon. Dive into the Wild West as, Wild West as a saloon owner in a volatile frontier town. Customize your character and face the consequences of your choices as you forge friendships and enemies of townsfolk, travelers, outlaws, and lawmen. Build the most famous saloon in the territory or be overwhelmed and destroyed. Very cool. So developed by Creative Storm Entertainment and uh, published by Creative Forge Games and Playaway South Africa. I think that's what SA is. I think it's South Africa. Um, you can download the demo right now. So if you like what you saw there, you can download the demo and play it yourself, which is very cool. Um, the game actually unlocks in eight days. So uh, that's the 15th of September. That is eight days from now. Um, let's see. You get to create your character. If you're wondering what the slopping is, is my dog just has been very thirsty lately. Um, and he's in the background just drinking an entire giant bowl of water. And he just goes for, like, several minutes. So I'm not going to stop talking about the game. I'm just letting you know what that sound is. Um, playing as a rich and dynamic character in the Old West, you'll be able to fully customize your attributes to fit your play style, such as mixology, seduction, and sneakiness. You'll manage your life as well as your saloon, much as maintaining, such as maintaining your reputation and getting married. You will struggle with the effects of disease, aging, sanity, and addictions. Provide travelers with a distinct drink parlor, uh, gaining legendary stories through Gale and build your legend. Interact with townspeople as they populate your town. Forging friendships with blacksmiths, sheriffs, preachers, romance, prospective partners, or blackmail, abduct, and murder those who threaten you. Um, you can build your saloon from the ground up. Expand the walls, build bordellos, opium dens, high-stakes gambling rooms, and ra railed porches. Buy and place spittoons, tables, chairs, handcraft bars, pianos, chandeliers, and diamond dust mirrors. That's all very, very, very cool. Um, thrive within a complex economy system, stockpiling booze, food, guns, and opium. Research a diverse array of drinks and foods to serve customers. Hire and manage staff from within the town populace or import them. Um, 
Start with a strip of land and watch as Western Town builds up around you, bringing in a myriad of citizens and businesses. Hundreds of events. Very, very cool. Um, this is a very cool game. Yep. Rad. Love it. Let's look at Creative Storm Entertainment. So, we've got Deadwater Saloon. They've made a couple other games. So, if I'm taking a stab in the dark, I'd say this probably comes in at, like, the $15 mark. Um, I don't think we've played any of their other games for the channel. I don't see any of them in my, uh, things. Um, but the prologue, that's the demo here, uh, does have mostly positive reviews, which is cool. Let's see, Age of Gladiators, which would just, it would be another simulation game. That's cool. Um, so they got a few games, and this is a good one. I like Deadwater Saloon. It's cool. It feels westy. <laughs> westy. It feels western. Um, there's a lot of strategy. Uh, I mean, I think one of the things is, like, figuring out what the systems are so that you can really leverage your character's strengths. Um, because as, it's, as it is right now, it's like, I didn't really know what I was getting into, so, you know, I put stuff in. Um, that medicine one was good. It meant that I could not get addicted so that I could reduce my stress by doing drugs and stuff. Very cool. Um, yeah, there's lots and lots of deep stuff here. And it's one of those games that you can probably spend hundreds and hundreds of hours just trying to get, you know, maximize your saloon and build it. And it's kind of got like that Sims feel, but it's a Wild West town and it slowly gets bigger. And yeah, yeah. Really, really cool. So, definitely worth checking out. Um, you can do that by clicking on the link in the description. It comes out in eight days. Uh, if you're watching this before it comes out, add it to your wish list so that you uh, can see when it does come out. Developers really do like it when you add games to the wish list because that lets them know, you know, what their sales might be like on release day. So, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below. Um, and that's Deadwater Saloon. Class dismissed.